What's happening? What's happening? Man, I was thinking like, man, we really is programmed to be robots, man. Like, we born to come up in the same shit, basically all doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You fall into your, you fall into your character. You feel me? It's crazy because you, you gonna play a character. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it or not, know it or not, you're gonna fall into one of these characters, these archetypes, right? What you go through is gonna make you who you who you are, and it's all programming indoctrination because <clears throat> it's like everything that's put out in front of you you gonna respond to it a certain way you know what i'm saying and that's what's gonna put you in a certain character category you know what i mean like the majority of people they trying to do what's safe in life right so the system created this thing for y'all, right? For us to be safe in, to seem like we safe. This job, this career, this job security. Um, hey, I'm going to give you this much money. Just come work for us for hella hours, for hella years of your life. And you're going to be all right. We're going to allow you to have a place, a car, the stuff you need to think that you're really living. You know what I mean? It's robotic, bro. Like, like really, I was just talking about this with wifey, like, we were talking about something, but it, it just came up to where it's like, we really giving our life damn near up just to be able to live what we think is normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I know people who, I know people who is slaving away. When I was working at the warehouse, you feel me? I was working with, I know this one dude, he was slaving away. And it's telling people like this, just to pay, just to have a nice car. You see what I'm saying? Like, he had, what did he have? A Hellcat. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what a Hellcat is. A Dodge Charger. Feel me? The souped up ones, though. That push. The, the, the Hemi and all the shit. He lived with his mom. You know what I'm saying? But he, he didn't really have much bills, but he got that car. He got his car, his phone, and all of the shit he liked to do. And that got him slaving away like a motherfucker. And then now he's stuck in it because he he don't want to pay for the car note no more because it's too expensive. But now he 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 don't want to get that car back because now he didn't already built this reputation of being that dude in the Hellcat. He got the the you know his car is nice, and you know what I'm saying he don't want to go through the trouble of all that giving it back, whatever the fuck that is, right? So he like I'm gonna just keep my car. And slave away to pay it off. To try to to hopefully one day pay it off. He's stuck paying that motherfucker for years. You see what I'm saying? All to... He was indoctrinated to believe that that Hellcat, that car, was worth doing that for. When really, in my opinion, it's not. I haven't been there. I have, I still got my car. It's a it's a it's a uh, Mercedes S550 Benz. Excuse me. 2007. It's older now. I had it. I got it years ago. But I did that same thing. You know what I'm saying? And I when I was hustling though, I was getting fast money. But that's why I got it. But you know, I had to pay it off. It took me a minute. You know what I'm saying? And it's like <sighs> that got that's all tied in to what I'm saying is we indoctrinated 
to believe certain shit is valuable, to believe certain stuff, you know what I mean? It, it's worth taking a risk for, risking your life or your, your freedom, or just giving your life up to a company, working for them, basically giving up your life just to live normal or to get normal ass shit like cars and shit. You, you see what I mean? When that's not even the shit that's going to make you happy in life when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? And I know this because after I done got the the fancy, fat, flashy cars, the wads of money, you feel me? The women, you know, out here, right? Reputation, that the reputation I wanted and liked growing up, I got it. You feel what I'm saying? But it's it's at the end of the day, it really, really, that's not the thing that's going to make you happy. You know what I mean? And, and and you don't know that until you go through the shit. And then you realize like, wow, why am I still feeling like I felt before I, I accumulated all this shit? <laughs> it's because the stuff that's really going to make you happy is within yourself. And that's what makes you not a robot is because you have these feelings these desires you know what i'm saying um that in my opinion comes from your soul you know your soul the reason you're even here maybe you know what i'm saying you got inner stuff that you want to fulfill and when you're not fulfilling it you're just being a robot because somebody else programming you to fulfill what they want to get fulfilled you see what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what they mean by woke, right? Stop being a robot, a bot. Because if you, if you, if you, you ever heard the phrase, if you, if you don't stand up for something, you're going to fall for anything. And that's, that means you're going to easily get indoctrinated by somebody else who's marketing to fall into they, they, they trap. Now they got you, and now you slaving away to make them rich, really, by wanting to buy they expensive shit when you really can't afford it, or wanting to live in this certain house when you really can't afford it, or it's all indoctrination, man. And that's what. That's what I don't really talk to a lot of people about it the woke shit or the bot shit because some people just don't want to hear it, man. They want to stay stuck in their ways. So, uh, some people going to stay being bots, you know, until they figure some shit out. But I'm not saying I got it figured out all the way or nothing like that, but I know certain shit. And once you know certain shit, it's hard to live regular because you know certain stuff. <laughs> I believe you with that, man. What you tell me? What you think in the comments? Uh, let's get the uh, discussion going.